Hi, in this video I'm going to share with you the method that I use to create high definition videos on YouTube. The first thing that you should know is that I use this free software called Hypercam. It's version 2. Okay, If we look at the licensing here, um, this is actually free for worldwide usage. All right, I'm going to put a, uh, a link to a page that uh, will bring you to the Hypercam website. Uh, in the text here on YouTube so you can check that out after the tutorial alright now uh, after you install Hypercam um, there's a few things that you'll want to know um, one of which is that uh, high, defin high definition video here on YouTube uh, standard wise consists of uh, a 1280 by 720 rectangle okay now um, if you're in Windows 7 like me you can right click on your desktop and click on screen resolution okay I happen to have two monitors the one I'm using to record is monitor one right here and you, you know make sure you're you've selected the correct monitor if you have more than one but um, under resolution you're gonna wanna choose the 1280 by 720 alright um, that's just for editing the videos or creating the videos I should say um, when I'm done I go back in here and I pull it back up to the maximum resolution uh, so that other things uh, will be more optimized but in terms of creating the videos uh, this is the resolution that we want so we click OK and the screen is now the proper size right so uh, because I have two monitors under the screen area here I've chosen to leave the hypercam window open and what I do is I just drag it off onto the other monitor which you can't see in this tutorial but um, what you'll probably want to do is select uh, the hide hypercam window uh, down here or to iconize hypercam window to the taskbar All right. Um, hotkeys I've got set here to F8 to start and stop recording all right and if you're creating a video where for example you're doing an installation and um, there's a long pause you know 10 minutes while it installs and you don't want that section in your video um, use the pause resume function pause it and then when you're ready to start talking and recording again just hit the F9 again. You can set these values to anything you like. All right. Um, in terms of the AVI file settings, uh, you can browse for uh, you know which folder and file name that you want to use. I can't actually change the settings right now because I am recording this video, but you can see the results here on my Drive W. I've got a, a video uh, folder and the name the base name is screen capture and then it gives a unique number so that just does a sequential bit right um, I use the uh, DivX codec okay that's downloadable um, I will also leave a link for that uh, on the page on my uh, helpvideoguru.com site on a support page for this video I'll have links for all the software and codecs that you need alright and um, if we go to sound here I have a headset with a boom mic right and that's what's chosen right here um, I just record in mono 16-bit with the 44 100 samples per second alright uh, under other options um, I do have because uh, I'm doing screen tutorials I have uh, record cursor selected alright you can also add a starburst every time the mouse is clicked you'll get a, a, a little starburst around the cursor um, and you can customize the colors and add a sound uh, associated with that that will go into the video be careful about the volume that you set the uh, mouse click sound volume to because um, I have had in uh, another tutorial 
where that was set too high and people find it very annoying all right um, and uh, we've already seen the license page um, this used to be a paid uh, software I did actually purchase it at that time um, but the the latest upgrade is free version 2.24.01 is the one I'm running right now works great with Windows 7 I've had no no issues whatsoever I get great uh, I get great quality with the the DivX upload um, you know the it, when you watch it full screen it looks really good and clear and uh, that's basically it when you're when you're ready to go you hit F8 when you're done you hit F8 and uh, good luck